Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. Today I've got another ROM review for you. This is the COZ ROM, C-O-Z, for the AT&T Galaxy S2. So stick around, when we get back, we'll dive right in. All right guys. So let me power this thing on here. Like I said, this is the Cos ROM. It is from a gentleman named Cosmo. And it is pretty cool. I've uh, messed around with it a little bit. You'll see in a second here that this is has the uh, Galaxy S, excuse me, Galaxy Nexus boot animation. Pretty cool. All right, so I do not have a SIM in here right now. And as you can see, we have a couple of options. You've got TouchWiz, as well as Launcher Pro and the Ice Cream Sandwich Launcher. So we'll start with TouchWiz. So this is a pretty cool ROM. Um, a lot of theming going on, a lot of ice cream sandwich theming. The dialer has been themed. The uh, messaging app, as well as uh, some of the keyboard here. Let me take a look. You have the uh, gingerbread as well as the Samsung keyboard. as well as swipe already pre-installed so that's good look at the notification bar so the notification is a uh, semi-transparent pane but it's not uh, so transparent that it's going to make it difficult to read your notifications so that's nice up here you have your uh, toggles and it is the 14 toggle mod which is really nice, uh, which includes my favorite, the flashlight. And you can uh, customize this using the quick toggle, uh, quick panel settings app. So, a lot of good stuff here. Put a ton of apps in here for you guys, including uh, Z Edge and. Um, Titanium, it is the uh, trial version of Titanium, or the free version. It is not the Pro, but still, very cool to have that pre-installed. And uh, you have your quick panel settings app, and just a bunch of really interesting things. So let us take a look now at Launcher Pro. Uh, if you're familiar with Launcher Pro, you know exactly what it's got here. Uh, you can change the transitions, you can change the way your dock looks, um, the way your home screens function, uh, just tons of stuff. You can change the way your app drawer, if it's vertical scrolling like this versus hor horizontal scrolling. You can change all that, you can change the number of icons, you can change the text, you can change the zoom trans or transitions. All everything. It's really cool. A really great launcher. Um, I should do a review about the different launchers, like three main launchers, I believe, that I, I really enjoy. Now, not what I meant to press. Take a look at the ice cream sandwich. There we go. Launcher. And this is pretty cool. Uh, themed Google search bar there. You've got your ice cream sandwich analog clock. Horizontal scrolling, but not continuous scrolling. Um, apps and the widgets, not like true ice cream sandwich where, um, that's not what I meant to press, where your widgets are displayed in the app drawer. When you click on widgets, if I can, there we go, you just get your uh, menu here from your home screen. 
or you can long tap, long press on the home screen. The menu is themed like ice cream sandwich. That's pretty cool. Now, overall, like this ROM, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I have found a slight bug just in the few minutes that I was messing around with it. Went to look at the wallpapers and went to check out the ice cream sandwich wallpapers and you get a force close. And then when you come out of the force close, see now we're in ice cream sandwich. Let's see, earlier I was coming out in the dialer. Let's try it again. Yeah, back in the ice cream sandwich. Um, even from in ice cream sandwich, that's not what I want. And I picked the ice cream sandwich wallpapers. Still get a force close. So, tiny little bug. Uh, let's try this. Back in the ice cream sandwich launcher. Okay, so um, there it takes us right back to TouchWiz. So just a little bug. Um, there is an app for the ice cream sandwich wallpapers, and maybe that would be a better way to go and uh, fix that problem. You got your colorful settings menu. Uh, it's not the monochromatic that we sometimes seen. see. Ah, sorry about that. About phone is what I meant to press. COSROM version 3. I will have all the uh, details of the ROM in a... Uh, on the screen here in a minute. But pretty good. I right, pretty pretty nice. Let me show you one thing here that I have noticed. Um if we go into like sound just you see the themed slider bars. Those are pretty cool. I like that. Uh one thing I don't like though, let me see if I can find something. Well here I'll show you the extended power menu and you can see that the menus are a uh, semi-transparent background and I don't like that per se personal preference because some things it's kind of difficult to read um, like you can see the the words the text that's underneath the menu and sometimes that can make it hard to read what is on the actual menu but you know, that's just a personal preference for me personally. So that is it, guys. This is the Cos ROM version 3 for the AT&T Galaxy S2. We will sign off. And I thank you very much for checking out this review. Don't forget to check us out, mobiletechvideos.com, an awesome spot to uh, take care of your mobile phone needs and mobile devices. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. Thanks a lot, guys. Leave a comment if you have any questions or uh, want me to take a look at something. I'll be happy to do that. Thanks, guys.